Hi everybody, this is Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to do a staggered swipe. And let's go over my colors. My first color is Artist Loft uh, Black. My next color is Amsterdam Grayish Blue. My next color is a combination of Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue and Golden Fluid Acrylics Teal. Very pretty color that I, that I mixed up there. My next color is Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. My next color is a combination of Liquitex Basic Silver and Golden Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Silver Fine. Combination of those two paints. My next uh, color is another combination of Amsterdam Deep Gold and Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden. Again, I just wanted to mix those two together. And let's see. And my last color is a combination of the Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium and Golden Iridescent Bronze Fine. And let's see, my base coat is a combination of Blick, Titanium White, and the um, Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium. As you can see, it's not white, it's like an off-white, about 50-50 on uh, those colors. My pouring medium today is a little bit different. It was one part of the M1 Latex Paint Additive and Extender. I had bought this a long time ago, and then I put two parts of Floetrol, one part paint, a squirt of GAC 800 in each color, and then I did thin with water. Um, let's show you consistency today. Because I'm doing a swipe, I'm going to have it a little bit thinner. That's consistency. So what I'm going to do is just lay the paint down all over the canvas, uh, not in lines across, but just all over. And uh, then my swipe, oh, my swipe color is the um, Amsterdam Titanium White. But what I did is I made it with the Bloom recipe, and it's got wood conditioner and um, Floetrol and a little bit of Elmer's glue in it. And I will list that recipe in the description. And I'm hoping to get some cell action here or some lacing with that um, cell activator as my topper. And I did not add silicone to any of my paints today. So like I said, I'm just going to be adding my paints all over the canvas. No particular order. Here's that pretty gold mixture that I made up. I hope everybody's having a good day today. You want to make sure you get your paints all the way out to the edges. But what I was going to talk to you about while I do this is I usually write down every pour that I do. I number them and I write them down and I write down the colors of paint I used and if I mixed them myself, the combination of the colors. 
And if it's a good, really good combination, then I make sure and note that. And I was looking for a pour to do, and I looked back through my notes on prior pours. And this is this pour I had done a long time ago, and I had noted that this color combination was was a good one. So that's always a good thing to do when you're not sure what colors to use and what's going to go together. If you keep notes, then that kind of solves your problem. It's always good to experiment too. I'm all for experimenting. And this is that golden teal in the Liquitex Basics turquoise blue. That just is a really, really pretty color. Let's do the silver next. I just did mix these colors this morning too, so I will torch before I start the swipe. And also, too, if you take notes on prior pours, you can also note what didn't turn out so good. So you know you wouldn't try that again. And now I'm going to use this grayish blue, very pretty color. So the M1 additive that I used today is just about the consistency of water. And that's why I wanted to add a little bit of the Floetrol to almost like thicken the paint up a little bit, especially when I used the golden fluid acrylics, because as you know, those are very, very, very thin paints too. Okay, and lastly, I do have this... Um, the bronze, the golden bronze, mixed with the unbleached titanium here. And as you can see, it's a little bit darker than my base coat. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of tipping here. Just to incorporate the paint a little bit with each other.
Okay. Now we'll start the swiping. And what I'm using today is an old deck of cards. And what I've I just cut them different widths. I left some the same and some I made a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is take my cell activator and I'm going to put it in a little tray. Then I'm just going to dip the just dip the card in that cell activator and see if we get any reaction. See, I'm just dipping my card in the cell activator. And then I'll just start to swipe. And again, it's going to be a staggered swipe. I'm just kind of letting it glide down the paint, not really pushing hard at all. So with a staggered swipe, I can just go anywhere here. And I, and I can touch the sides of the painting here with the paint that I swiped off. Okay, now I'll use a different width card here. And I too like to leave a little bit of room sometime in between my swipes, as you can see here, just to have that different effect. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have even a little narrower, narrower one. That's not easy to say. And these are good to get the edges here too. Okay, let's see if I can finish this up on this side. And I'll even turn the card on its side like that to give a little bit more dimension to this painting. Okay, 
Okay, ready to turn the, the painting now. And I hope that you are in camera. You can see most of this. Okay. Start on this side now. When your card starts getting a little saturated, you can use a new card then. And I'm going to put more cell activator in my tray. And again, just going to give it a little bit different look here. Whoops. Use a real thin one here. Just a few more spots here and we're done. And I will work on my edges off camera. Just a little bit right here and I think I'm done. Okay. And now I'm going to torch it. 
see what I bring up. I'm really, really liking it. Okay, now I'm just going to take my skewer and I'm just going to uh, run some lines here. Just here and there to add a little bit of dimension. Not going to add any more color, but I'll just add these lines. Okay, now I'm just going to do a little bit of tipping before I torch. I like the jagged look. And that's why I did the staggered swipe to begin with. Just move some paint down and then I'll move it back. Just letting a little of that paint move down there. Because I'm liking the effect I'm getting down there. Okay. I really like this. Very pretty. Check, just check at my corners here. And like I said, I will work on my edges, my sides off camera. I'm going to give it one more torch and then we'll get you down for a close up. Hey everybody, here we go with our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. You can see some of the lines that I drew down there. I got great effects with that cell activator. Lots of cells. Just going down the left-hand side here. Some cute cells right there. Here's the lower left hand corner. We're going to take you up the middle now. And again, I like to leave just, just a little bit of the paint underneath like that, just for a little bit different dimension in the painting. Lots of action going on in here. I really like those black cells and those beige cells too with the black around them. Again, this was a 16 by 20 inch canvas. This is called a staggered swipe. I like this up in here, pretty. And these cells, these are the cells I really like up in here. Here's the upper right hand corner
Again, little black cells there with gray cells. Just a lot going on. Very pleased with this painting. And here's the lower right-hand corner. So let me know what you think about this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. I truly appreciate that. And I truly appreciate all my subscribers and my watchers that I have already. And I hope that you really get a lot out of my videos and that I'm teaching you some, some good things. And I hope you use these techniques with your own paintings. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.